Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So the market is in green today. So we see some consolidation. Bitcoin above 60,000, but below 62,000. Will it be enough to break 62,000? 62, 62, uh, we will see. So my name is Mike Denkler from Coronex and from the Crypto Minds Global Movement. I am bringing you the most important crypto news technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi, AI gems to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing in this video is a financial advice, so everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and make your decisions based on your research. So guys, hope you see Solana is up. Uh, Onec submitted uh, a Solana ETF uh, so we will see what's happening with Solana and also we see Jupiter uh, in Solana DAX also jumped but we see um, other meme coins Bong, Boom uh, pumping but good to see that uh, ENS uh, Ethereum name server also doing well and our uh, Akash network an AI related coin and CFX a Chinese platform and also Avalanche so good to see that Bitcoin and Ethereum is consolidating um, and tomorrow, Friday, uh, um, end of the month and option expiry. So we will see what will happening. Let's go to my Twitter feed and let's see the today most important news. So Bitcoin enjoy the summer. BTC will wait you with its epic run around in fall. Uh, let the Wyka free accumulation work out. So... It's been four days since the first reminder, but based on sentiment, this feels uh, we are in the middle of a bull cycle time-wise. One month and one week time frames maintain bullish market structure. We have chopped through the summer and uh, reset every bull cycle prior. So this happening in every bull cycle, a choppy sideways movement, and then we are in the same. So you see here in this um, circle, you find this choppy sideway movement and then a parabolic move after the summer. So good to see that uh, something can come to us with this. So next piece of news is BlackRock, the biggest investment manager firm, promotes Bitcoin to mainstream. So guys, Bitcoin is an ascent asset. It's only one per, one per ten the size of the gold market so guys definitely watch this system or public policy there has been a huge amount happening in digital assets of course leading to the launch of bitcoin etfs so jay since we launched ibit this year what are so guys i really like it how they are talking about bitcoin so i think they are bringing bitcoin to the mainstream to the masses so bitcoin is a hedge BlackRock declares Bitcoin is a hedge against geopolitical and monetary risk. BlackRock uh, asserts that Bitcoin is a hedge against geopolitical uncertainty and monetary risk, reinforcing its growing importance and demand in ever-growing financial, land financial landscape. Time to pay attention. So guys, this is happening. This is happening. Uh, we were waiting for this to happen. Okay. So, grocery prices went up almost 400% in two years in the U.S. Uh, and U.S. government CPI is 3.3%. Reality, the purchasing power stolen from, your, from you peaked at 29% per year. So, 29% is not even too much. Uh, not even too much. That uh, What is uh, this huge inflation that... Uh, happened uh, in this period but let's see what's happened i i really like this so let's uh play this for you i feel like i'm gonna be sick i just like looked through my walmart history and i found this like um walmart order from two years ago for the whole month worth of groceries 45 items cost 126 dollars a whole month of groceries just for me, basically. But I did notice this reorder all button, and I wanted to see how much it would cost now. Now, 
This order of 45 items for one month would have cost $414. That is four times more. How the fuck? How? Like, what? So guys, the original grocery store order in 2022 was 126 and now the same order is 414. Uh, 14 so almost 4x almost 400 percent so guys let me know what do you think but this is insane so solana price spike six percent following one spot solana etf filing so uh, here you see that there was this filing give a like and share all this content come here and share all this content so let's see the news okay Solana surged over 6% minutes after one act fight, a spot Solana ETF with the Securities and Exchange Commissions. So that was a huge spike. But before that, also Solana started to recover. And one act is one of the biggest investment firm that entering um, crypto. And now they are submitting Solana. And I think also BlackRock submitted uh, a Solana ETF. So believe the native token Solana function similarly to other digital commodities such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Okay, the SEC approved a one export Ether ETF to be listed on stock exchanges and uh, the fund still awaits approval. The same agency greenlight one export Bitcoin ETF on January. Cool. So good to see that's happening. Let's see what, uh, what other news do we have. Cool. The Asia Pacific market is heating up for Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs. So guys, not just, just in the US, but also in Asia, ETFs getting more popular. Two Bitcoin ETFs launched in Australia in June after six Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs launched in Hong Kong in April. We will see soon if more and uh, enter the market. Okay. So two horse races between Australia and Hong Kong as the race, the capture market share heats up. So everybody wants to get the market share and uh, the race is just starting. Act locally, think globally. The flow of funds in Hong Kong has not matched up uh, to the pre-launch hype, but the hype may be more to blame for uh, that than the products. While the overall ETF market in Asia has seen 20% uh, over the uh, past 10 years, investors' perf uh, preference for ETFs here is still not as strong as in the US and the, also in Australia. Hong Kong ETFs. Okay, strategic differences with the crypto ETFs, especially the Hong Kong and Australia markets have different constructs. Hong Kong is a global financial hub with activity oriented around institutional investors there are fewer regulated exchanges and innovators while in the US. We saw a re reluctant regulator pushed by pent up demand for crypto ETFs. Okay, ETFs as a service. So that will be them you can use for so many things, your ETFs. And guys, we see that Waters Way is in on US presidential debate. Will Trump or Biden mention crypto? This is going on right now, so we'll see tomorrow what's happened. Next, will Bitcoin boots or bears benefit uh, from this week? Almost 9.3 billion uh, US dollar worth of Bitcoin option expiry. The Bitcoin halving hype long passed and this month's massive options expiry provides insight into the future of the current BTC bull market. Recent pressure on Bitcoin gave bears a potential of 430 million US dollar advantage. Bitcoin bulls have weak macroeconomic data on their side, which favors a more aggressive rate cut and monetary stimulus campaign. Deribit is an absolute market leader for uh, uh, options totaling 6.65 billion open interest. Then Chicago Merchantile Exchange and OKX. Okay, 
So let's see where, where we do have the major bets at, uh, I think, around uh, 60,000, if I see right. And the major uh, other part, the bullish part, the calls are at 22,000 US dollar. So I don't know why our options here, but um, interesting, somebody lost their options. Bitcoin bulls need 64,000 to avoid losses between, uh, between 57 and 60. There are 660 calls uh, and puts. The net results favors the, the put sell options by 820 million. Between 60 and 62,000, it's almost uh, almost there are more calls, but it's, uh, it's almost uh, just half of the options. And between uh, 62 and 64, there are, um, there are um, more calls and less puts. The net uh, results favors the put sell options by 200 and 105 uh, million. And between uh, 64 and 66, there are so many calls and, and uh, less puts. The outcome is approximately balanced between call and put options. So I think that would be the, the fair uh, to get there, but we'll see which are which um, camp is stronger. So guys, let's go back and check out other things that we do have here. Cool, the higher risk reward buying BTC at the bull market support band. So we can buy with better a risk reward so higher means better risk reward if Bitcoin uh, going to the support levels at this bull market support band and now we are touching it so we are in the support zone okay Bitcoin imagine how rate cuts will pump Bitcoin and altcoins Bitcoin smashed 60,000 when interest rates was zero and uh, it has smashed six, uh, 70 thousand not 60 but 70 thousand at five percent interest rates just right now and consolidating around the previous all-time high altcoins altcoin market cap altcoins are due a big vertical pump we are at the beginning of a bull market so guys look at this chart at uh, special indicators that we see here and then we are here in this uh, higher high higher high higher low higher high accumulation zone so a run up accumulation uh, consolidation run up consolidation run up and then uh, we will reach uh, somehow uh, at least 2.5 million altcoin uh, market cap so this is the target zone on this chart so bitcoin therapists do the mass 21 million bitcoin just meditating and 8 billion people is going for it Bitcoin bull run countdown is ticking. The bull run countdown is uh, ticking and um, historically started its bull run 28 weeks on average after the halving. So 28 weeks after the halving. So we are just almost halfway or, or one third way to the bull run to begin. So guys, I like this chat. Give a like and share this with your friends. Bitcoin wears versus weak hands retail holders. So guys, check this out. So guys, do you see the whale is buying uh, the cheap Bitcoin from the panic seller and then uh, she is selling at least uh, 3x so uh, <laughs> 3x of the original price so guys this is insane so do this be a whale not a panic seller altcoins after how many days post halving will odds reach their all time high make your wise with uh, buying the right altcoins this cycle won't be different all you need to make first million is buying right alts so 118 days after the halving there is a peak 
uh, for altcoins and then uh, and then uh, the market is shifting from bullish to bearish this is how consolidation accumulation happens panic and uh, this is painful and shaky the consolidation go up and down up and down and uh, even you think it will broke out then down and uh, you feel that it will break down then um, uh, actually oh, we need some patience these are Wyckoff accumulation zones post having a reaccumulation could be a perfect Wyckoff accumulation pattern so spring soon uh, we call it spring when uh, we have the deepest level and then just going up from there so actually phase C is spring and we see uh, there are several phases and in the last phase E phase E the structure is breaking out altcoin speculation index and global liquidity aligned for uh, the biggest bull run ever so this is the altcoin speculation index it's almost uh, at uh, close to the zero so it means that nobody betting on altcoins yet and the liquidity global liquidity cycle is has just started to or to write to raise from the bottom bitcoin that was just an average 22 percent correction and we have seen 20 21 22 percent correction so nothing new but a little bit painful because it lasts longer and then uh, we have seen this so it's not new cool okay privacy things and beer time has come uh, silver bullet bought some beer this is a meme coin but we do have water also a meme coin so guys uh, drink some beer or water and this is a kind of uh, bearish divergence price going down and RSI is going up and we talked about in, in our last video and you can save this chart from here and uh, and also you can just repost it because i think this is really useful so now let's go just go to pancakes up you can buy uh corenex uh, with bnb uh copy the contract address from coin gecko a coin market cap into the box and then uh, add liquidity in the version 2 pool and after you added liquidity in the version 2 pool on pancakes up go to app.coreion.io and lock up your LPs in the farm and earn a juicy 50% APR so guys let's go and check out the charts so guys you see that Bitcoin were in a downtrend and uh, when reached our lower support zone then it spiked down almost touched the 200 days moving average and now consolidating above the support line and then so actually this support has not been broken because just spiked down but not close uh, not uh, making uh, not close the second day the uh, candle hasn't closed below the level so now consolidating and if it will break up then we can open a long position but now just speculating also preparing some shorts maybe it will just uh, uh, make a fake out and then go lower and final capitulation to come but i think altcoins already capitulated so guys thank you for watching thank you for listening let me know how do you like my new shirt and smash those like push the bell notification on and see you in the next video